Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove your Google account from a computer. So whether you're using a public computer and you just want to remove all of your information or whatever the situation may be. So open up a Chrome browser tab or whatever browser you are using and go to google.com. And then once you're here in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see the normal Gmail images and then the box here that shows you all of the different Google apps. Just go ahead and click on your little profile image there in the upper right hand corner. It'll show you all of your Google accounts that are currently logged in. Go ahead and go to sign out of all accounts and yours may just say sign out. So just sign out of all current accounts there. And then what you want to do is go ahead and go to continue here to go right back to where you were at. Now, once you're back to the Google homepage here, you then want to go and just click on the Gmail option here in the upper right hand corner and you're obviously going to have to log in again uh, if you want to to log in again to access anything but what you will now see is you will see something that says remove an account and it's going to have a profile image there with a minus symbol next to it if we go to remove an account once we do that it will now present us with minus symbols with red circles around them right next to all of the associated google accounts on this specific computer so what you now want to do is go ahead and click on the red minus symbol for the account that you want to remove from the computer completely. And then once you've done that, it'll say remove account and then go to yes, remove. And as you can see, now when you go to Gmail here, it will no longer pop up. So if it's a public machine, this is obviously what you want to happen. Now, to cover all of your bases, what we want to do, and this works better in Google Chrome, so hopefully you're using Chrome, but if not, it works similar to other browsers as well. Find the settings, so go here to the three vertical dots in the upper right hand corner on Chrome, and then it should be somewhere, edit settings on other browsers as well, and then go down to where you see settings. Underneath settings, you'll see something that says privacy and security. Go to privacy and security. Underneath that, you'll see something that says clear browsing data. So if you go to clear browsing data here, you'll see that you have a couple of options. You can clear your browsing history, the cookies and the different cached images and things like that as you've been surfing the web. I recommend just if it's a public machine or public computer, erase and remove all of this. So go now and go to clear data and then you would just go ahead and click the blue button here that says clear data and then you can clear it from basically the last hour, 24 hours, seven month or all time. I just selected all time for the simplicity of this video. And then if we go back to where you see clear browsing data, the same dialog box here, if we go to advanced, we even want to go in here and we want to go and remove our browsing history, our download history, the cookies, the cached images, already done all of that. But we also have passwords, autofill data, site settings, hosted app data. Now, you probably won't have very much depending on how long you've used the computer. If you're trying to sell the computer, a public computer, as I just mentioned, you definitely want to check all of these things here and then go to clear data. And that will then remove all of your autofill and passwords and things such as that. You will see now that we can go here and we can sign in, but that option here is not available. So basically we will not see any of that information. Everything will be like it's a fresh account. So when the next person uses that computer, they will not see your information, whether it be your actual email address. For me, I have it here because I have an autofill uh, password reminder app, but for you, it will show blank here and you will not have any of your information or data shared from that computer. If you have any questions about this process, please put those in the comment section down below. Really would appreciate that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this video helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next video.